everyone, welcome back, I'm Clea. So today's look, as if you didn't already know, is Halloween inspired. I bought this headband a couple of weeks ago and I knew I had to recreate some type of Halloween look with it. It definitely reminded me of like the 1920s, like the Great Gatsby, like that era. And I think of that era, I think of like diamonds and glitz and just like over the top outfits. So I definitely thought that this was perfect for it. And I put on like a nice choker and some earrings and fringe. This fringe was so in back in the 1920s. I mean, look at it. How could it not be? It's so much fun. I'm so happy it's coming back now. But anyways, this is what I put together. A very nice and dramatic look for your night out. I wanted to do like a heavier look than what I usually do. So I hope you guys all like it. Let me know how your Halloween goes out. But anyways, thanks so much for watching. And as always, I will see you guys next time. Bye. Happy Halloween. So we're going to go ahead and apply some concealer all over the eyelid just to prep the eye for our shadows. All right, so now I'm taking this light brown shade. I'm going to apply that all over the lid just to prep my eye. And now I'm taking a darker plum shade and we're going to apply that on the outer V and then work our way um, a little bit more than halfway. Just keep in mind with darker shadows, you definitely want to start off small and then work your way up. So for this look, I definitely wanted my eyes to appear a little bit more larger, so that's why I'm focusing on the darker colors on the outer part. Alright, and then I took a black matte shade and I apply that on the outer V and I'm blending all those colors together. Alright, now I'm going in with the Urban Decay Last Call. I'm applying that to the center of my lid and I also added some Fix Plus to my brush just to make it appear a little bit more prominent. All right, time for glitter. So I'm going in with the Kitten Karma by Stila. I love these magnificent metals. They are so much fun to play with. So we're adding that to the center of the lid and then we're just gonna let it dry for a quick second. And then we're gonna go ahead and go in with some eyeliner today. I'm just gonna wing it out and we're gonna use the Cap on D eyeliner, which is a great eyeliner too. Crazy days, city lights, the way you'd play with me like Right, now I'm going to take some makeup remover and just clean up the edges. That way it looks nice and sharp. And now I'm taking some eyelashes because I love eyelashes. And we're going to apply that and let them dry. And in the meantime, I'm going to go ahead and do my other eye. And we're going to get started with the face. Alright, so for primer today, I'm actually going in with the Per No Filter Blurring Primer. Um, this primer has been great so far. It gives me like a really nice like glow underneath my foundation. So I'm just going to use a stippling brush just to blend it all out. And you can also use this primer mixed in with your foundation, but I like to have it set and then I go in with um, the foundation. Time for foundation! Alright, so I'm going in with the Dior Air Flash. Um, I didn't even think that I would like this foundation, but I really, really like it. It gives me such nice coverage, and I felt like my skin just looked <sighs> porcelain. I don't even know what the word is, but it looks so porcelain and so airbrushed. I just love this foundation, so I definitely recommend this if you're in the market for something a little bit more higher coverage, and this is definitely the foundation to go to. So for contour today, I'm going in with the Anastasia foundation stick. We're going to apply that to all the places that we want to minimize. And I'm using the Real Techniques Beauty Sponge. We're just going to blend everything in all together because we really want that skin to look nice and seamless for this look. Right, so we're using a duo fiber brush just to blend out that contour. Using these type of brushes helps the contour appear so much more natural on the skin and more finished. Alright, now we're going to go ahead and blend out the nose. I'm using a flat concealer brush just to blend out those lines that I created. And then I'm going to use a beauty sponge to just go ahead and make it appear more natural. Right now I'm taking some setting powder, we're going to add that underneath our eye, that way that concealer doesn't go anywhere. 
Now I'm taking two colors from the shade and light palette. We're gonna add that over the cream contour. I really want this look to be like super bronzed. I don't know, when I think of the 1920s, I just think of like over the top. It's Halloween, people. Add as much makeup as you wanna add. I feel like this is like the one day of the year you can get away with like anything. So we're just gonna add that everywhere and then we're gonna clean it up with the same setting powder and we're just gonna brush it off underneath our eye. And now I'm going in with a matte blush today. I'm using Gingerly by MAC. And then I'm gonna clean up underneath that contour. That way it looks nice and seamless. All right, so I did my eyebrows off camera. So I'm gonna add some concealer on top of them just to make them appear a little bit more up and more like awake. This step is great if you wanna have the illusion of having your eyebrows appear lifted without plastic surgery. <laughs> All right, so now then I'm adding some setting powder just to make sure they stay in place. Okay, so now we're gonna add some white eyeliner just to make those eyes appear like really, and I mean like really large. White opens up the eye and that's what we're gonna do. And then I'm adding the same colors I added on top underneath my, underneath on my bottom lash and we're gonna just smoke it out. And then we're also gonna take that same pigment we added and add that to the inner corners of our eyes. All right, time for mascara. Just pick one of your choosing, and then I'm gonna go in with the lips. I'm using Whirl by MAC. I know back in the 1920s, smaller lips were more in fashion rather than the large lips that are in now, but I just felt like for this look, I really wanted to do a full lip look rather than a smaller one, but again, it's up to you. It's up to you. You can definitely do a smaller lip look with this Halloween look as well. That's the beauty of it. You can do whatever you want with makeup. And then I'm gonna mix some colors. Today I'm using Myth by MAC, and then I'm gonna add Another color by Rimmel, and then a lip gloss on top of that, but I'll definitely list all the colors down below for you guys. That way, just in case you're interested, you know what colors they are. Okay, so now time for the hair. We're gonna use a curling iron, and if you have one like mine, then you're gonna use the outer part of it. We're gonna wrap the hair around, and we're gonna let it sit for about like five or six seconds, depending on like how thick your hair is, obviously. And then you're gonna let it go, and then you're gonna pull the ends, and then you're gonna be left with this like nice type of wave. All right, and then we're just going to continue with this method throughout the whole head. I did the back part just so I can speed up this process because I feel like it would take forever with my hair. But just continue doing that. Again, back in the 1920s, these type of waves are more in, so that's why I decided to do these type of waves. But yes, so listen to some music and curl that hair, baby. Right, another little thing that you can do, like I'm doing here, is I'm going to let it go and then I'm going to place my fingers in between the wave and kind of like push it up. That way the wave is a little bit more defined. And there you go, there's your waves for the night out. hours later i'm just kidding thanks so much for watching guys i hope you guys all love this look and i will definitely see you guys next time thank you crazy days city lights the way you'd play with me like